By definition, to evaluate the improper integral of 1 over 1 plus x squared from negative infinity to positive infinity, we need to split this integral at some real number so that we can rewrite it as a sum of two integrals, which both have only one infinite bound. That looks like this. We could choose any real number we like to split the integral at, but there's no reason not to choose a nice easy number like zero. Now we have two improper integrals of what we call type one, and we can evaluate both of these by taking limits. So we'll replace negative infinity with a, and then look at the limit of that integral as a goes to negative infinity. And we'll replace positive infinity with b, and look at this limit as b goes to positive infinity. Now we just have two ordinary integrals that we have to evaluate, and then evaluate those limits. The integral of 1 over 1 plus x squared, hopefully you recall from Calc 1, that's arctan. So when we integrate this, we're going to have arctan of the upper bound, 0, minus arctan of the lower bound, a. And again, we're taking that limit as a goes to negative infinity. And then with this limit and integral, we're going to have arctan of the upper bound, b, minus arctan of the lower bound, 0, and take this limit as b goes to positive infinity. Then this just comes down to your trig knowledge. Arctan of 0, that's going to be whatever input tangent needs to output 0. Tangent outputs 0 when sine is 0, and sine is 0 at 0. So arctan of 0 is 0. And then arctan of a as a goes to negative infinity, that's going to be whatever the input of tangent needs to be to diverge to negative infinity. Really, we're talking about limits here. What does x need to approach for tangent x to approach negative infinity? If you remember your unit circle, you'll know that's negative pi over 2. As x approaches negative pi over 2, we have that sine is approaching negative 1 and cosine is approaching 0. So that forces tangent to approach negative infinity. And so the limit of arctan of a as a goes to negative infinity is going to be negative pi over 2. So we have 0 minus negative pi over 2. And then a similar thing with this limit over here. Arctan of 0 is 0, and the limit of arctan b as b goes to positive infinity is positive pi over 2. As x approaches pi over 2, sine is approaching 1, cosine is approaching 0, so that's what makes tangent go to infinity. So the limit of arctan of b as b goes to infinity is going to be pi over 2. Of course, this ends up being a positive pi over 2 and another positive pi over 2. So 2 pi over 2 or just pi. So this improper integral does exist and it's equal to pi. We can look at this in a graph as well. This is a graph of the function 1 over 1 plus x squared. And this improper integral is all of the area underneath the graph and of course above the x-axis because this function only outputs positive values. So this area underneath that curve is equal to pi, which is pretty cool. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and be sure to check out my Calc 2 course and Calc 2 exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what you're stressed about. Love. Stressed out, honey, I've been stressed out lately. Don't know what's what, don't know what I'm stressed about. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out.